Welcome to Mega Design Arch. Today we will see how to design parking floor layout. When you make high rise skyscraper or residential building more than G plus 5 floor or 10 floor, so you must have to give parking floor layout inside building. So I have designed this wonderful parking floor. We will see one by one how we can design minimum space for car parking and slot percentage ramp how much we can give for our space two way drive and number of car parking availability as per traffic study everything we will see in this video this is very valuable learning and this is very important for you to learn how to make parking floor slab uh, parking floor plan layout in a high rise skyscraper or your residential building maybe more than 10 more than 20 floors so this is very important this is rules you must have to provide parking floor also inside building so how our slope will go how we park how we will place each and everything we will see in this complete video this is very important for you to learn how to design this type of floor plan completely detailed and functional so you will learn through wonderful industrial experience so i will teach you from the very beginning how you can design like this parking floor plan completely functional and detailed we will see one by one we will start from the very beginning and we will see how we can design in very much possible so let this start so you can see here we have just this much only i have made this much division so i will give from here to here number of equal division keep in mind for each car parking you have to give 250 by 550 centimeter this is a minimum condition for park a single car okay so we have this here more than 300 centimeter approximate 300 so i have given wide space for uh, this area because we have a lot of space so we can keep but the minimum condition you have to follow uh, 250 by 550 your width should be 250 minimum and width and length should be 550 so i will give this division number 4 we are getting here 365 centi in width so we have very wide space i have designed this and it will come something like this i have designed this much only i will go after that in uh, we will use our mirror powerful tool and the rest of the thing we will see one by one so you can see here this number of number of car parking we have arranged you can see this 350 by 550 as i said minimum you can keep 250 by 550 so we have here 350 no issue we have more than that so you can see here this is our wide space we can utilize it's completely dead area because we cannot park this area so you can make your service room or anything else for utility purpose okay so on this side we are getting 365 i have given equal division because uh, we are getting everywhere same okay so you can see here number of four car parking this side and number of seven car parking that side we are getting three four five six seven i will match this dimension to, to this okay our turning radius should be three meter and for single way drive and two way drive should be six hundred centimeter and this side if you see here we are getting very wide in length 840 approximate so no problem we can place our room service area or anything else for now we will keep like the same as it is and you can see here we have lift and lobby and one stair and that side window we have given number of two lift and one stair so just this thing i have designed in very much simple way you can see here now we will place number of cars so i will add numbers okay whenever you will design high rise skyscraper so you must have to design you must have to arrange parking floor layout also 
as per your traffic study as per your occupancy number of floor as per your flat office restaurant shop you have to go with car parking also so this is very important for you to learn this kind of thing it is very very important okay so i will take this we will keep number uh, one by one and after finalizing we will see how much we are getting in this plot so this lift number two and lift number one this is one way drive to her this is we will keep four percent slot now this is very very important what is four percent slot four percent slot actually when you drive minimum you can park above four percent slot so four percent slot ramp will go your with car parking that area you can park if you go more than five percent six percent it is not allowed to park that area it will go more inclined so the angle in four percent is allowed to park your car and our slope will increase slowly with four percent suppose i have 1500 centi here so with four percent slope i will multiply 1500 centimeter into four by hundred so i will get that much height from one side to another side so this is our four way 4% slab and two way drive two way drive we have placed here for two way drive you have to give space 600 cm this is very important first thing for car parking 250 by 550 and second thing for two way drive you must have to provide minimum 600 cm okay this two thing is very very important keep in mind now i will keep here also because it will come here also this two way drive okay fine so you can see here we have arranged in very much simple way everything is okay now what we will do we will give rest of the part wherever dimension are missing so this will come very wide interlock area walkway area you can make like this floor plan number of three car parking four car parking because it will go with as per slab and as per uh, your uh, traffic study you can make number of car parking so we will finish this as i said this is our dead area so we can use for service and rest of the thing even we can give utility room okay so this this is our interlock this is our walkway for entrance lobby lift lobby and stair also okay so you can see here i have designed this much only and now we are going to use our mirror tool to make this you can see here this our 1020 this side this is the length increasing with slope so all length is covering centimeter okay this is 6 meter as i said 6 meter for two way drive is condition minimum 6 meter required okay fine so this will come something like this okay now everything is fine here so we will see okay i will select this now we are going to use our mirror tool i will select this much i will not select our stair and lift okay for now because we will mirror that side okay i will select and it will come something like this and i will take this difference point better to take this reference point because uh, when we will make half it will go another side so we will take this this reference point okay so i will take source array subject no okay so you can see here again we are getting this side in between you see wall that is 20 cm wall because our slope is changing our slope percentage our ramp 
will slowly slowly 4% increasing so that side our area will increase that side different level and this side different level so in between that okay so this is something like this i will keep this 3 meter for uh, we have here very wide very length wide length for this car parking okay so this will come something like this so this is the wall which differentiate our level another side different level another side different level as per slope percentage okay so this will come here 300 and let this keep let, let this area make uh, uh, interlock because we have very less space we cannot park here minimum we need 550 cm so i will remove this let this hatch again so you can see here this is our interlock fine this is our interlock area so we are getting here number of additional car parking so i will keep this numbering later we will arrange one by one how many nodes we are getting for car parking okay so this is something like this basically you are learning high rise skyscraper basic concept of car parking layout how to design car parking layout in very simple way okay fine so you can see here everything is completely ready so half we have made and again we have mirrored this side and after that we will use a again mirror tool to locate another place so this dimension 1020 by mirror tool it's getting 1029 this is 1020 so we will keep 1020 okay so it will come something like this fine so this our turning 1020 and our continuous 10 meter that continuous and this side 1500 cm so we are getting everything is fine if you have anywhere any comment any any query you must ask in comment section i must reply so this is our void interlocking for walkway now we will use our mirror tool to relocate this completely another side so i will select this full and i will take a mirror tool mirror command mi and take this reference point and so subject no so this wonderful parking floor plan layout is completely ready so you can see here we have arranged in very much simple way from just only one corner and we have placed perfectly everywhere so this is something like this so the major thing is still balance our slope percentage how we will go floor to floor we will not provide here car lift we will provide a slope okay so this is something like this and this side we are getting 1020 1020 on turning area and in between 1000 cm and in wide length, wide length this drive 330 cm uh, 30 meter 3000 cm okay so you can see here everything is fine completely our this this is 3000 cm okay so all all side everywhere we have 4% slab 4% ramp so minimum height floor to floor height for car parking how much this is also very very important keep in mind minimum car parking requirement car parking car floor car parking floor to floor height requirement 
थ्री ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर मिनिमम यू कैन नॉट गो लेस दैन थ्री मीटर और थ्री टेन बिकॉज अदरवाइज योर कार विल हिट एंड सेकेंड थिंग देर आर लॉट ऑफ सर्विसेज ओवर द स्लैब वाटर सैनिटरी पाइप लॉट ऑफ द सर्विसेज सो यू हैव टू गिव मिनिमम थ्री ट्वेंटी फिनिशिंग हाइट क्लियर हाइट विल कवर थ्री टेन थ्री थ्री मीटर सो मिनिमम यू हैव टू गिव थ्री ट्वेंटी सो वी विल चेंज इस नंबर ऑफ कार पार्किंग हाउ मच वी आर गेटिंग सो आई विल सेलेक्ट टी काउंट टूल इट्स वेरी वेरी वंडरफुल टूल वी कैन सेलेक्ट ऑल टेक्स्ट इन वन टाइम एंड वी कैन गिव नंबर सीक्वेंस जस्ट बाई क्लिकिंग टू थ्री क्लिक्स ओनली सो आई विल सेलेक्ट दिस फूल एंड आई विल चेंज दिस नंबर ऑफ टोटल कार पार्किंग वी विल गेट सिंपली सो मेन थिंग इज आवर स्लॉप परसेंटेज बैलेंस हाउ मच वी विल गिव वेर एवर कमिंग आवर फोर परसेंटेज स्लॉप लेवल वेर एवर चेंजिंग ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट वी विल सी Okay, fine. So you can see here, everything is ready. Just I will take right click, select order, one is to one, override. So number of fifty-eight car parking we are getting: seven, nine, ten, eight, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-six, twenty-seven, two, thirty-four, thirty-five, two, forty-eight, and here forty-nine to fifty-eight. so total number of car parking we have 48 so this floor area we are getting 48 car parking so now the very very important thing we are going to add total number of add total length how much we are running so this 3000 cm 1020 plus 1000 we will get 4% slope how much we are getting Then one thousand. This is our driveway area, full driveway, wherever we have given dimension. Again, ten twenty. Then three thousand. Then again, it will it will help us to calculate our slope percentage, floor to floor height, how much we are getting. So this one thousand. And again, ten twenty. So you can see here we are getting approximate twelve thousand above twelve thousand centimeter into four because four percent slab divided by hundred. So you can see here we are getting four eighty three. If we go four percent slab, so we will get floor to floor height four eighty three. So for now just we will keep this much. You can reduce up to three hundred twenty centimeter. I already told floor to floor height should be three hundred twenty centimeter minimum. So here we are getting more than 400 centimeter, approximate 500 centimeter. So for now we will keep like this because we will go 4 percent slab. Whether we can use 2 percent slab, 3 percent slab, but you cannot go more than 4 percent for parking your car. You cannot park your car above 5 percent, 6 percent. So this is our first first parking layout. One thing is very important here you didn't realize. Where is our ground floor? Where is our access? Where is our entry level? From where we will enter? This is also very very important. No issue. We are going to do the same thing. We are going to make our entrance from ground floor. So our access will start from ground floor, and ground floor will cover your services like shop, showroom, watchman room, services, whatever you want to give as per your. Uh, ten as per your fun functional detail, like how much floor you have, multiple floor, or you have just for parking purpose. Down parts also you can provide. Otherwise, whatever residential or just parking floor purpose you design, or high rise skyscraper, or ten floor, twenty floor, depending on your needs. So we will we will consider ground floor is nothing. Just we will focus. Uh, is our parking floor coming from first typical uh, ground floor, and we will use six centimeter, six hundred centimeter driveway. This area, this part coming from ground floor. Keep in mind, 
this part coming from ground floor and accessing to first parking. So for first parking we will provide okay first parking we will provide from ground to first parking we will provide 15 percent slope maximum you can give your car parking 15 percent slope angle in that 15 percent you cannot park you can just drive only so we will reach 345 level with continue 15 percent slope from this way I will give this 20 cm wall, this RCC wall. Okay. So this will come something like this. This is coming from ground floor. Ground floor we are covering uh, nothing just like uh, whatever the requirement we can make as per our requirement like if you want to make uh, ground floor also parking area so we can make simply and second thing if you want to make functional shop showroom services everything and then you can make in down parts but this part will be just for access just for reaching first parking layout okay so you can see here this much we are getting continuous Okay, this much we are getting continuous up to first parking floor. So this will come something like this and I will keep this 370. Okay, so this is coming from ground floor 15%. I will give just a ramp to show what exactly here. Okay. So this will be something like this, this coming from ground floor, keep in mind we are using our 15% slope. This 15% ram will go continuously up to first floor, first parking floor. We are given here 340, we need 345 height from ground floor to first parking up to 15% slope. So we have to give 2300 centimeter. If you will calculate 2300 centimeter into 14, 15 percent slope, we will get 340, 345 centimeter clear height. So this coming from ground floor to first parking. Okay. So basically this is the concept of uh, parking floor, how we design. We are learning from the very beginning. You can learn this way how to design car parking floor for high rise skyscraper also. You can give floor to floor number of 8, 9, 10 floor for car parking only. Because this is very very important. You must try to place your car inside your high rise skyscraper, your tower or your more than 20 floor, 10 floor residential building. Even you need number of 5, number of 6 car parking as per your flat requirement. So we have given here 23 meter, so we will calculate this 2300 centi into 15 by 100, 15% 15 of slope. So you can see here this 345 we are getting. So from ground to first level up to 323 meter, our car will go with rapid space and we will get this level 345 centimeter. Okay. Continue 23 meter our car will drive with 15 percent slope we will reach 340 centimeter height and then again we will start our 4 percent slope. 4 percent slope means wherever our car parking area taking place and our everything is here starting from here. So I will add one by one. Now this we are getting from ground floor. So this is RC wall, we will cover this uh, solid concrete. So you can see here we have arranged in a very simple way. And this is our car parking ground first floor layout. And this area, this is what? What, what utilization of this area? This area will cover with double slab. Double slab means you cannot use this area in uh, parking floor, first parking floor. You can use this area in ground floor for double height. 
Double height means it will reflect with your second parking floor. After making second parking floor, I will tell you how to utilize that area. Simply, when you if you make that side any room like machine room, washroom room, service room, and ground floor in that area, so it will go double height. Double height means first parking you cannot use that space. Second parking will go continue maybe eight meter, seven meter height. So that part will be used there. So you can see here this is our build built up area. How much we are getting here? Okay. So this is something like this. Our very very important thing is balance. Balance the core thing. Our slope percentage. How we will queue floor to floor and slowly slowly gradually increasing our slope area. Here we have a reduced number of six seven car parking. Simply you can see here I have reduced uh, remove and I have arranged this uh, slope percentage fifteen percent. So we got remove this much part. So what we will do? We will take again t count. We will take a, take a text to make our numbers everything um, proper way. So I will select this everywhere. So now we are going to make again uh, our level, wherever our length going, driveway going, four percent. So each and everywhere, how increasing our slope will increase as per our four percent. So after this, we will start that one also. So I will select this all for giving one time. Recount again. So T count command is very used in AutoCAD. Like this work is become very easy. Okay, right click, select order, and one is two. So you can see here in this floor we are getting number of first, second park number of fifty eight, and first parking we are getting less six number of less car parking. Okay, so this is completely ready. So what we will do? We will make this copy again, and we will make this floor plan here. This third parking floor. Okay, so this is third parking floor. So we will start from here. Our slope will start, or main story start from here. So this twenty two twenty. Centimeter into four, our four percent slab divided by hundred. So you can see here we are getting eighty eight point eight centimeter plus three forty five. We are reaching three forty five level. So we are getting four thirty three point eight. So this is the slab percent gradually increasing as per our driveway length. So this point we are getting four eighty eight. Sorry, four thirty three. Simply, what we did, we did just only uh, twenty-two hundred twenty centimeter into four by hundred. How much we are getting? We have plus in, uh, added in our four three three forty-five. So we are getting four thirty-three. And this again, I will copy this, and it will come here. I will copy everywhere, and I will text uh, as per calculation. So it will go over. Our slope is gradually increasing as per our driveway up to here, and let this finish our slope level everything. So ten twenty again we will calculate ten twenty how much we are getting slope percentage in ten twenty ten twenty into four by hundred. So we are getting forty point eight plus four thirty three point eight. Okay, so how much we are getting four seventy six. So this level we will we reach 476. So we are reaching 476 height. 474.6. Sorry. Then again on thousand we will calculate how much we are getting into four by hundred. So we are getting 40 centi. So plus 474.6. 514.6 we are getting here. So our slope is gradually increasing. I hope you got this point. How we are making, how we are calculating. It's very very simple. Then again, ten twenty already calculated. So ten twenty uh, length will go forty point eight centimeter. 
So we will add this in our last level 514 plus 44, 40.8 40 sorry. If you have anywhere any query you can ask in comment section. So this is 40, 5, 55.4. So this level we are getting this much height and again three, here we have 30 meter. 30 meter into 3000 into 4 by 100 we are getting 120. So this driveway will increase 120 centimeter height. So plus 55.4 we are getting 675. So this level we are getting 675.4. Then again we will add 675 plus 20.40.8. 20 10.20 we have again. So we will add 40.8. Okay. 716.2 fine so you can see here simply we have arranged this much and we are again 1000 means 20 we will add 40 plus again and this 716.2 plus 40 generally 1000 into 4 by 100 we are getting 40 so we will add here so this up to here we are reaching 756.2 this much height in centimeter we are reaching 756 centimeter so here now this we will use again here because our car parking going continuously so this level this is very very important this level going continue so it will come here again this 1020 we will add 1020 into 4 by 100 so we are getting 40.8 so we will add 756.2 into 40 797 so we are getting here 797 this is our second level started so gradually we have going uh, like this way continue second level And again we will use 320 because we have already 33, 30 meters, so 917. So we will get 917. I will copy this from here and I will keep it here. This will come 917. So similarly we will copy this from here. This is our second parking. Then we will add here 40.8. Okay, so it will come 957. Let us add 40. Okay. Then again copy this level. Then again 40 add here 957 plus 40. Nine ninety seven. So we are getting this much height again we will keep this here so everywhere four percent are increasing this we are getting height here plus 40 so 173.8 so we are getting 1037.8 centimeter and again this side we are getting we will copy this and this way we will reach again third parking, we, will, we can reach again fourth parking, how much parking is required, we can go this way continuously. So we will give this number of three car parking, so we will go up to third car parking level, so 157.8 and again we will keep it here, then again add 40.8, so 1196. 1198.6 now this is very very important what is next where is going another level because we have already given their level so this is break line break line means this red line at another level is down part 
and this red line this side is going next level part so this is this break line shows where is our down part where is our upper part so this this will come this will not come here this will come here to show our level difference we are reaching again this point so i will copy this this is our what we have what i have make this break line that break line shows another side down level and this side our again upper level so this is second parking and this is our third parking okay so this is our third parking so we will use again this level we will copy and we will change our text as per slope increasing so let this copy one time all keep in mind we must have to change our slope as per going 4% select this point and copy here okay so this level will change this is our 1198 so again we are going continuously again uh, 1198 plus 40 we will add and we will uh, break this uh, our parapet parapet wall where our car parking ends okay so we will keep here our Uh, car parking termination so we are reaching up to here car parking will be closed this way we will give 120 cm parapet wall it will come something like this so we have to manage uh, our level uh, very very important okay so what i will do i will take again From here, eleven ninety eight. We are again going continuously plus forty. So twelve 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 eighteen point six. Then again, we are reaching here. We will add forty point. We are reaching last level. Keep in mind, we are reaching last level. This again. Forty. So we are getting ninety, twelve, thirty-nine. Okay, fine. Then again, we will add hundred twenty here. Hundred twenty means our hundred hundred three three thousand centimeter into four by hundred. So we are getting hundred twenty. We will add here floor to floor. Then again, we will add here forty centi. If you have anywhere any doubt anything, you must ask in comment section. I will reply. Okay, this fourteen meter height we are reaching, and again we will add forty centi because we have one thousand centimeter drive. So we are getting fourteen forty point two. Okay. So simply, we are reaching here. Again, we will add forty point eight because we have ten twenty. So ten twenty four percent slab will come fourteen eighty one point zero five. So this is our last level. After that, our car will terminate. This is if you stand here, you will see down area. So we are reaching up to this here. After that, and we are made. We have just made three number of car parking here. Three number of car parking floor here, so this will come sixteen ninety sixteen one into sixteen one point zero centimeter. So finally, we have finished up to here. Everything is completely ready. So you can see we have arranged in very very simple way. This line no need because you know we are going again. So how we will show the difference? 
this difference is this is down part and this is upper part so we will give our light color to, to understand what is going different what is different between this level and this level so i will let this trim so where we have 16 meter uh, so there we have to fix this is our upper upper level and where is down this full down area so there we have to mention our lower level so better to uh, this is easy to understand give different dye, uh, light color so i will change this color so this is simply you can understand this down part this below and this continuously coming to parapet area simply so th this you can see here we have designed very wonderful car parking floor with completely technical and functional so in this way you can design your high rise skyscraper in very much convenient way car parking floor to floor number of required car parking so what we learned today how to make car parking floor in very much simple way so i hope you got this video helpful please like share and subscribe i will do really appreciate your support if you have anywhere any comment just ask in comment section i must reply thanks for watching